Okay, so when I set this workflow with uh, IC Lite notes, my job literally dropped down because it's what I was looking for. And here's a reason why. Well, if you don't know, I'm also a digital photographer and I put a shoot for 30 for many, many years. And I done some fine art photography. You can see on shopandphotography.com. I done a lot of promotional posters, movie posters, a lot of um, media for the events and other stuff. So a lot of things. And one tool that I like to use it, it is set light. And reasons why, because usually I'm just going to look around and you can see right here, it's have a studio. You can stop your lights and you can kind of add, remove some of the positioning. You can reset all different modifiers, you know, for, for the photographers is actually an excellent tool because you can see lights. So and because of this, you do set up lights in this tool. And later when you're going to photoshoot, it's make your job easy but it's not always this way sometimes you come you photo shoot with light specific way and you come back look at the photos and you wish the lights was slightly different maybe at different angles or there when another one's in usually it's not easy to fix in photoshop and now with this new ai a workflow inside comfy ui it's it's incredible how it's changed all of this lighting well let me show you what it can do Here's a node and you can see with nodes, you can specify which way is lighting go, what angle. And it's most important how it's work. It's actually create a normal map for those who work with 3D understand. It's actually take like 3D object creating in a lighting space and can manipulate with the highlights and shadows to specifically create light, lights from one or another side. Well, this is the preview how it can do, but let's put it say, hands on. Let's try by ourselves and see how easy to install those nodes and how easy to work with them. First off, of course, a special thanks to the Joko Stefano for creating that workflow to sharing with us so we can use it this and for other people who develop those nodes and put them available. All the links and reference will be down below so you can go download nodes and say things by yourself. Well, what we need to do here, and it's actually almost straightforward, but you want to go inside Comfy UI, be sure it's installed. If not, check my video on how to install Comfy UI and manager. And after you download it, you need to go inside the Comfy UI and download it from the manager. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. First on a link, go to the example folders and then examples done, downloaded these PNG files. Yes, PNG files have it inside the workflow. It's where we're going, drag and drop or open with a path inside the Comfy UI. And these PNG files, which is showing you how that workflow is actually out, it's covered inside information for our nodes. When you open of this, you will have it preview like this node. Some of them will be red and red because those nodes, it's not yet available for you and you need to download it. To download it, you need to go inside the manager, click install missing nodes. And when they, <laughs> in my case, I already installed them. Yes, but on yours, you will have at least select all, download it. And don't just restart, reload it. Be sure you're just going to close it and restart your server because that is a better way. Be sure that all um, necessary files it's loaded. Next, we need a model. For the model, we'll just go again in the manager and click model manager. And right here in the search, type IC and you can see lights already appear. So I would recommend for you just download these three IC lights. FSB, FC, and FCON. So download it those because we will need them later. Okay, when you're done, you want to refresh. This is not necessary reload your server when you download them, but you want to reload, uh, refresh. Well, next possible problems, even you download them, they maybe won't be found them in a path, then we need to click and uh, refreshing, but we'll do one step at a time. First, let's go right here and see we need it load our image so our checkpoint and currently it's just realistic vision you can use different checkpoint on this point here 
uh, load image. Let's preload it one. And I'm just going to load one image that photo that I took before. And it's look a little bit clean because I did run through special um, retouching. And if you're interested, I have a bunch of videos about Photoshop retouching for those who like digital photography and want to know how to do this. Well, let's look right here. We have our image resizing. We don't need necessarily resize image. And the method is set true. If we try, sometimes it's give it error. So you want to switch to the um, keep proportion or other things. Because if it says true, by default, the node does not recognize, give you error. Usually when you have it errors, you kind of just read this. Well, let me check. Let's go right here. We press Q and see what error come up. Of course, right here says it's a checkpoint not found, which is fine. We'll just go click down and we have it realistic visions. I'm just going to select this one. Okay. One that I have it. Well, you can see and it's, wow, it was fast. <laughs> so it's already, you see, those ones is pre-rendered for me a different type of the gradients. By the way, this is different light source and you can see it is different direction, so it's creating down preview right here. One, two, three, four. Shadows, highlights. Yes. Okay. Well, good. Let's go click Q and see what is happening here. Well, it seems now that our model is preloading. And this is, it's take a little bit time till model loaded, of course, in our memory. And you can see it's going like two paths. One path was on the bottom right there. Take image, remove from background. It's what it does here. So it will be put matting on this one. And it's creating how the light flow down. So, okay. It's done so far. Well, I'm going to pause for a second till it's finished loading the model and we continue when model is all loaded in the memory. Okay, so right here it's a model preloaded and we can see it's now going sampler and most important for us to see how the lights will going from this so that, again this is our sample workflow we can modify and play on this and <laughs> look what we have here we have our image properly in 3d so we know what positioning and this is incredible because with ai actually it can recognize a face and create a model for us with a normals or a lighting with like imagine it is three-dimensional yes in the two-dimensional world so it's creating its mapping for us so in this case when it's generating how flow lights like right here it is incredibly accurate i'm 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 excited this is such a great tool because just look right here as example you see this lights going from down the chin highlights all of this from sides perfect from top with uh, fall down on the eyes nose lips shadow between lips or highlights on this i mean that is incredible what ai tool can do here of course let's have it limitations and i will mention them a little bit later but right now let's experiment so this is one of them another is very cool let's try different workflow here and i'll just click there on the side to switch S look on this instead of having the gradient we have a direction we have the vector of directional lighting well let's go preload our image okay and before we actually do let me show you what's happening sometimes you're loading and something may be missing which is okay we'll show how to debug i'll click q and notice error come up and you remember what i said before the reason is right here you see method false by default so be sure you just switch this to keep proportions or stretch whatever you need it uh, we can go inside the node is actually modify this node for the default values um, and if you're interested in how to work with nodes i have another video coming where we're actually going to create our own node inside the comp ui you'll see how easy it create so in this case if you like to dig a little bit deep in and create your own custom nodes and everything i will show you in another video but for now just remember you switch this and of course right here see it says pattern does not find you remember i says where you can download it for tone and right here we have it and we'll just properly path putting there as well and after this it should work just fine let's press q and you can see yep there you go 
it's downloading our checkpoint in memory work very good and soon when it's downloading it will start processing and until it's loading let me point one thing if for some reason you don't have it or don't know where downloaded this checkpoint photon because i was digging a little bit on this i will provide this link down below so you can go and download it from here again links to all the resources will be down below if for some reason i miss some of them please let me know just uh, says hey where i can find search and social resources and i will find for you or point in a place where most likely it will be located and of course after it's finished unloading uh, in the memory of those things is going quite a bit fast right now we are going on a hey sampler and if you notice it's cars so there you go oh, look on this look how beautiful it is lighting compared with this and it's showing lights going from these directions here's the cool stuff about this we can actually take this light and change directions we can say how powerful it will be the vector but for example if i put it lights just right here behind her you know on the other side notice the hair how light is going like shades it's beautiful we're just going from different direction now and let's go ahead and press on Q on that one it should take quite a bit faster there you go oh, look on this look how beautiful this image is it's a perfect it's like a Hollywood of course you can modify you know you can go right here and, and it says for example nor type you know kind of like edge stuff and here we have it colors let's go and set white okay so we can modify different ones put it white and black going generate and you can see you can also have it multiplier and other ones changing how far it's going how much shadow highlights i mean that is beautiful look on this now we have it north style all of this okay and just for fun if we're switching maybe from this direction like 45 degrees let's increase fallout but you know what i can add different i can actually add new splines or i can modify one of the existence so for example if i can go and said hey how about we do this kind of curvature light something different yes and now we're creating you can see because i increase down now that our lights going different i mean it's a perfect if you have a portrait you take a portrait as a photographer you come and lights just does not work properly you can go here and adjust and modify this light which is i'm sorry for me it was jaw drop okay so let's go ahead and look on another example well in this example it will combine kind of different ones a little bit heavier and you can see right here i have it my face and i also have a different like a geek at play studio whatever it's a cyberpunk some image and i was thinking well let's combine those together so in this case you actually can have a different image and apply lighting from one image to another image so in this case i have it my face and i have this lighting like in a studio okay we can also save well this is not sunset yes this is uh let's go cyberpunk portrait okay i think there you go okay let's erase this one okay but portrait cyberpunk studio masterpiece yeah that should work very good okay let's see we have the same ic lighting here photon same same um checkpoint i think this is all set again important for us to be sure proportions right now falls because it's turned off but we'll see 512 width and height yeah, because it's a vertical it's kind of i want to make going vertical this way okay i think they're all settings is set we'll ready let's go press on the queue and it should very fast see how it's extracted create a mask i mean this is a very beautiful workflow okay and of course we jump in case sampler because we already have it that model preloaded in ours and there you go check on this that is before 
and this is with the studio on the background and lighting was taken from the studio and apply this of course it's not the best example but it's a very very good one okay let me show you a couple other problems how I say this tool is great but not that excellent in everything and sometimes you kind of need work around and majority of these if you look on this lighting it is a symmetrical lighting um, going like from middle or if you go have it from both sides with butterfly lighting so you can have it symmetrical so what's happening if lighting is not symmetrical okay so right here for it's a photo shoot from the we had like Halloween photo shoot and we're done right there and notice my lights again will going from the corner corner right here where is the dark the problem is you see how deep shadows right here going deep shadows that may create problem okay first we'll try with this workflow let's go press q it should be very fast because model already preloaded everything but i think we'll have a problem with last information and if we look closer it did some okay but we can see some artifacts and it's what i found out with these currently models and it does create but if you have it no information like very dark sometimes you need increase noise rate so you need it give it computer a little bit ai a little bit more creativity of field because if you put it too close it's just not enough information there to create but it is did a very good job again on lighting highlights compare these to dark look right here it's all shadowing and our output is a light and everything i mean it's incredible because so i'm very very excited about this workflow and i hope you're excited as well well if you're interested go ahead try it and be sure you subscribe to this channel like share videos and thank you for watching see you next time